A Russian checkpoint on the border with Ukraine has come under shelling. As a result, a border guard has been injured with shrapnel. The attack occurred as self-defence forces in eastern Ukraine clashed with the army. The military is said to have used mortar fire, which then hit the checkpoint. It happened when refugees were crossing the border, as we heard from a witness. I wanted to help people who are crossing from Ukraine, so I went to the border to offer my assistance. There were lots of children in the refugee camp and I brought them sweets to cheer them up. I heard the gunfire as I was coming up to the border. People were screaming and running. There were several gunshots. It was very scary to see women and children crying. I left for some time and when I came back, I saw the checkpoint was on fire. OK, let's get the very latest details uh, on this from RT's Roman Kosrev. Roman, what more can you tell us uh, about this development? That's right. Well, the border guard who was uh, injured is apparently in a very uh, severe state being cared for at the moment. Meanwhile, uh, Moscow has demanded an explanation and investigation from the authorities in Kiev over the shelling of the Russian uh, border point uh, uh, overnight. Meanwhile, the Kiev Defense Ministry denies any such thing has uh, ever taken place. But uh, we have... Uh, um, we have the Russian border guard, the representative, who gave us this information. We were inside the building when this horrific shelling began. We started moving everyone at the checkpoint to safety. One of the officers suffered a head injury. At the time of the incident, around 200 refugees were crossing the border. Also, a Russian uh, border control service that uh, said that a bus with 36 uh, children, refugees, uh, was uh, uh, shot at overnight as well. Now, these uh, all these children are safe and sound on the Russian territory in the Rostov region in one of the refugee camps. Uh, also, on Friday night, in a separate incident, uh, a Ukrainian checkpoint, uh, border control point, was uh, shelled as well. As a result, uh, two uh, servicemen had been injured and 80 of uh, so 80 soldiers. Soldiers have crossed the border into Russia where they were cared for and the injured people were also cared for there as well. Meanwhile, uh, Russian, uh, Russia is now strengthening its border along with Ukraine. Okay, thank you to our correspondent Roman Kosser, reporting live for us from Ukraine.